Welcome back to the Vet SOS Podcast brought to you by the Who You Know Network. Remember, don't drown the sea of transition. Grab the Vet SOS Lifeline. Mark, we got a great guest with us again today. We got uh, Kimberly Dinkins with us. She's going to be telling us uh, about her organization, the organization she works for, and uh, what what they're doing to try to hire veterans, which I think is huge for our community, especially all those people coming out now. Uh, should be absolutely great. Uh, I'm here with Mark, my partner as always. Mark, how are you doing today? Man, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking, Sean. I'm super excited to hear about Kimberly's uh, tenure, not only in the military, but over at SK Batteries and uh, how they're helping veterans and some of the initiatives that they're doing because, man, it's great work. So um, I'm super pumped and uh, hope you guys are as well. Absolutely. All right. So as always, this is out on the Restream platform. So if you want to send it out as original content on your social media, hit us up with hashtag pairing and we'll tell you how to do it. It's super simple. You get to push it out as original and share the, the message even further using your own network. So today we have Kim with us. She served on active duty for 14 years and in the reserves for more than six. Her shared passion for delivering and being a of service to transitioning members and veterans prompted her to pivot from human resources to external <laughs> affairs. Over the past eight months, she has attended job fairs across Georgia and at the Fort Riley, Kansas, and at Fort Riley, Kansas, and partnered with human resources to recruit qualified individuals on the spot, facilitated to cohorts at Fort Stewart, Heroes Make America program, attended a conference at, as a representative for SK Battery America for the communication coordinators in Korea, participated in community service events in the Commerce Georgia area and interviewed some of the most influential individuals in both the military and civilian space. Fantastic work you're doing. Sounds like a great organization. You. Can't wait to learn more about it, Kim. How are you doing today? I am terrific. I'm stoked and happy to be here this morning with you both. So thank you uh, for having me on the program. It is uh, an awesome opportunity and I'm looking forward to sharing uh, more of what we do at SK Battery America for our veteran population and uh, how we brought thousands of jobs to the Jackson County community. So we're thrilled mm. about that. Mm. That awesome. is fantastic. Yep. So let, let's start with a little bit about, about you. Uh, aside from your uh, introduction there, you mm -hmm. know, you, you've served years in the military and, and you like to give back. What, what, mm -hmm. what really developed that need to give back to the community? Um, I think being even prior to going into the military, just uh, childhood, that whole giving back and sharing, you know, I got it from my mom and my dad. And growing up, my mom was in the church and then my dad is a martial arts instructor and he had his own school of martial arts. And he was also always giving back to those young people and giving little nuggets of wisdom every week. And so I think even prior to the military, that was just, you know, a part of me. It was instilled in me. Um, and then being in the military and uh, having brothers to my left and my right. And uh, that just kind of prompted me to do even more. And hence the reason that I wanted to do with human resources. I mean, what do we do? We make sure that people get jobs, right? We match them up with that perfect job person fit. And so that rolled so well into the current role that I'm in, which is external affairs, uh, and um, military relations. So I have the opportunity to have the best of both worlds, which is to go out, talk to people, which I love doing. And not only that, talk to them about the military. So that is a win-win opportunity. And so that is why I, that's why I love giving back and sharing knowledge and learning. Um, so there's nothing better in the world than to be able to do that with others. That that's powerful and and much needed when you look yeah. at our uh, recruiting numbers. Um, yeah. Definitely need people talking talking about the military and the the pros of it uh, for for sure. Um, that that's just fantastic how you got into that. Yeah. Um, what Mark, was it? Quick? Yeah, I got a quick question for you, sure. Kim. So, what was it like going from like inbound, you know, mm -hmm. human resources and some uh -huh. of the work that comes along with that? Mm -hmm. um, and and moving to that external affairs where it's more like um more like PR type work, right? Mm -hmm. uh, was it a hard transition? Uh, you know, it sounds like it was a favorable transition for you. To it was it was a favorable transition for me. Um, I was able actually to take my knowledge in human resources and make it work for me in external affairs, especially 
taking that knowledge of, like I said, the military, plus that human resources piece, speaking with people, recruiting people, going out there and engaging with people. It's kind of like the same thing, uh, although just slightly different. And so it was pretty easy for me to do. And uh, I'm passionate about it. So when you do something that you're passionate about, it doesn't feel like work. Mm. It's yeah. There, there's a, a bomb for you. We've heard, numerous <laughs> times, you know, find, find something you love and you, you never work a day in your life. Right. Absolutely. And it's so true. Yep. That's yes. fantastic. Yes. So tell us a little bit about SK Battery America, because I'm curious about some of the programs you were involved in with SK. So I want to first get the, the knowledge of what SK is. So what we do at SK Battery America is we manufacture batteries for electric vehicles, uh, specifically our Volkswagen, uh, Volkswagen ID4 and the Ford F-150 Lightning. Uh, we, break, we have broken ground in both Tennessee as well as Kentucky. Uh, so we'll have plants there and um, they're also doing some hiring, although on a very uh, on a limited level at this point in time. But in Commerce, Georgia, that is where we have two uh, we have a plant, but we have two phases to that particular plant. And um, we are still hiring. As a matter of fact, we met our numbers. So our projected numbers were to meet uh, more than uh, 26 plus uh, personnel by the end of year 2023. And we have surpassed that. So that is always wonderful when you can put people to work and not just putting them to work, but putting them on a career path. That's why, That's the way we like to think of it at SK Battery America, because these are in demand, highly technical jobs uh, that are going to, uh, it's like it or not, the EV space is here to stay. And so these people are starting on a wonderful career path and they will always have work because that is the way of the future. Um, and so that is what we do there. Yeah, what you got? So you made your, your quota for 2023 already? We were going to hire 2,600 uh, personnel, and we've hired over 3,000. It's only March. <laughs> but we're that good. <laughs> of course, let me clarify. This episode's airing in, in May, so people are going to be like, what? March? <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so, and just to tell you a little bit about our first plant, so our second plant is, is pretty much um, run by robots. It's really awesome opportunity. As a matter of fact, I've yet to have the opportunity to go in there, but I've heard that it's run pretty much by robots. However, we need those people in there, uh, trained personnel to be able to make sure those that A, those robots are set up properly, B, that they're running correctly, and a C, to also to maintain them, right? If God forbid it, if something happens. But that first plant is a less automated. And so they were able to get those people get them skilled through our program. We partner with Quick Start program uh, to get them trained. And then there's training on the job. And so it's an absolutely great opportunity for these people to be able to do this and to um, be a part of this whole EV space and uh, this opportunity, this venture that we're doing here in SK Battery America, it's great. Now, are are you, in, and I wanna understand your, your external affairs role, um, mm -hmm. Are you specifically in, in, I think I, I heard the answer in what you had just said, but are you specifically tasked with engaging with the military community for this hiring initiative? Absolutely. That is my role. That is the whole reason that this role was created. Um, so let me just back up so you can have that full picture of what we do. So my external affairs team is composed of uh, seven individuals. And we each have a specific thing that we do. Although Stephen, our director, wants to make sure that we can all uh, do one another's jobs uh, to some extent, right? But we all have this special thing. So we have personnel that are um, that uh, work in government affairs, public relations, social media, schools, colleges, you name it. And then here's me with military relations. And so I go out specifically, I'm that one that goes out to the military community and um, speak with and engage with anything and everything having to do with the military. As a matter of fact, I had the opportunity to go to um, 
uh, out to Chattahoochee Technical College to the Vector Center out there and engage with them. They had an open house. Then there was a class out there that I was able to, to go to. So, I mean, anything and everything that has to do with the, the, the military, I'm able to do. And so it is an amazing opportunity. Well, and, and I, I picked up something else that you said when you were talking about the plants, right? Because you I have the, the, the first plant, right, is more, uh, it sounds like more manual, right? Correct. And, and so this, this new plant is, more, is automated, which is yes. where manufacturing we know is going, right? Um, Correct. But the thing that I picked up on is, think about this, folks. If you've got the robots and you know automation tools that are are actually doing the the grunt work, right? If you will, yeah. Um, all of those positions that she's talking about, think about that, are very technical, high level skilled positions that they. It sounds like that they will train you on and get you going on. I mean, what a what a start of. I mean, if you're retiring to you know four and out like. What a great start to a fantastic career opportunity. Absolutely. It is. It really, really is. And and thank you so much for, for saying that again, Mark, because it is an amazing opportunity. These are jobs that are not, they're not going to go away. Uh, EVs are here to stay. And um, uh, to be able to get trained, the training is obviously free. It's a you know, you get that quick start training. And then you're able to actually go into the plant and do what it is that you've been trained to do and to learn more. And so just like in the military, I know in the army, we have a, a career path, right? And you do those things and you move up. Well, that opportunity exists at SK Battery America. There's a specific career path. And as a matter of fact, uh, we have a young lady that started out working in the plant and she is now a supervisor because she's following that career path that has been set forth for her. So I, I think it's just, if you put it to work, it'll work for you. Yeah, and, and you you got two plants coming online, right? That you've broken Correct. ground on. So that's even yep. more opportunity. Even more, um, even and, more. And this is SK America, uh, SK Battery America. How big is SK Battery? Oh my goodness. We are huge. So we are just one subsidiary of our parent company. So if you've been to Korea, you've seen our wings of happiness at uh, the uh, the gas station, if yeah. you will. That is us. Um, so pe uh, petroleum lubricants, uh, SK Hynix, you, you name it, we do it at SK as our parent company. We are a huge organization. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we so are even cool. more potential jobs, especially if you're bilingual. Uh, and absolutely, have people getting out of the military in Korea as well. I, mean, I spent five years there, and you know, tons of people retired or ETS from there. Uh, so just even better opportunities. So that that's that's amazing, you know. And, and yeah, I was thinking the same had, thing you were, Mark. Yeah, and when I had the opportunity to go over in November, I actually went to. Uh, well, right outside of Camp Humphreys. But when I was stationed in Korea, I know that Humphrey was going through this huge renovation and it's done now. So imagine transitioning out of the military in the Camp Humphrey or anywhere. Uh, and with our headquarters being in Seoul, the opportunities that are, are yeah. the, the opportunities are endless, endless uh, for someone who, like you said, is is bilingual. So just food for thought for that. Oh, yeah. Food for that there. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, you mentioned the Heroes Make America program. Can you tell us yes. a, a little bit about that? So Heroes Make America is a program that I um, have, have had the opportunity to uh, speak to the various cohorts. I was actually down there back in December, I believe it was, to speak with this current cohort and to tell uh, the, um, the students, it's uh, roughly about 30 students uh, to... Um, enlighten them about the opportunities that are available at uh, SK Battery America um, on a case by case basis. You know, there is uh, on a case by case is relocation for these people, because, of course, you're coming out, you get that last free move. Right. Coming out of the military and you can move wherever you like. Yep. Um, and um, many of them coming out are 
senior level NCOs. I met a, 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 a warrant officer coming out. And so they've applied for either engineering jobs, supervisor, managerial roles, because think about it, being in the military, if you've been in that first after for those four years, right, you've taken on some leadership role, you've been put in to a leadership role in some point in time or another uh, after those four years. So you can easily step into uh, a position in which you're able and ready to lead personnel. And so it is an amazing opportunity uh, to be a part of that Heroes Make America program. Not only that, uh, last month, I believe it was, so early this month, I had the opportunity to participate in the virtual hiring fair. It was their first, it was their pilot, and it was awesome. And so that way we were able to reach uh, transitioning service member, veterans, mill spouses, you name it, from around uh, the United States and around the globe, if you will, uh, to be able to let them know and tell them uh, what we're offering here at uh, SK Battery America for Veterans. But I also have to add, along with what we're doing for the Heroes Make America program, you know, I had the opportunity to create uh, a, um, a veteran resource center at SK Battery America. And what that does for the veterans that we currently have is to uh, provide for them resources readily available. They don't have to necessarily go anywhere because when I go to these outside places, I bring those resources and that information to them. So there's an area where they can sit down and they can read through uh, various, they can read about, of course, everybody knows the PACT Act, right? They can read about the PACT Act. They can read about disability. They can read about education. Anything that concerns uh, military personnel, veterans is available to them there. We also have a weekly newsletter, which is wonderful. A weekly email, if you will, that goes out about anything that's current and that's trending in the military space. So it is really good to, well, number one, I have to stay abreast of everything and anything going on. And then I'm able to push that down and share that information with them, which is awesome and rewarding. And then they can let me know if they want to talk about anything else or if they want to learn or know more about anything else that concerns us in the military space. So opportunities, like you said, you, to get back, pay it forward. You know, that 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 reminds me of Cedar sinai in the work that Jennifer DeLott does there, right? And so Kim Kimberly, you should connect with Jennifer DeLott. Um, oh, I definitely will. Yes. So they Cedar sinai has her in a role that helps uh, mentor and coach applicants before they get into the interview and everything like that with, and re provide resources and things like that. So um, very kindred with what you're doing. And that is so rare yeah. in corporate America. <laughs> so rare. Awesome. So kudos to what you're doing there. Um, Thank you. Question I have is yes. if I'm getting out of the service mm -hmm. and I'm going to a virtual job fair or I'm engaging with you, and I'm mm -hmm. trying to get in with SK mm -hmm. Battery America. What's something that I could do to maybe differentiate myself and stand out? Hmm. That is a good question. So what I will say is I'm, I'm actually working with someone now. He found me on LinkedIn because he was able to sit in on one of the, he was unable to sit in uh, at the Heroes Make America program. OK, he missed that day, but he got my name. He found me on LinkedIn. Connected, we connected with me on LinkedIn. We've been conversing on LinkedIn. He sent me his resume and I provided feedback. So in answer to your question, uh, provide that you can differentiate yourself from your peers by making sure that A, that you do that those connections, you do the reach out, you engage, um, and then I'll pro provide that feedback to you for your resume. So that way, when you do push it or when I push it, because I do will I will push the resumes forward to our dedicated HR representative. That resume will look like a better fit for that particular role. So again, it's all about engagement, networking. I love um, that. Taking love the opportunity, that. taking the time to make sure that you're connecting with people. And that's what it's all about, networking. Okay. Think about the process, folks, right? If you're out there and you're hammering away at the keyboard, right, and the job boards and putting your resumes in and applications, 
Um, number one, it's time consuming, right? To make sure that your resume is uploading correctly and rendering correctly and you're matching up on the application, what's on your resume and all of that. And you go through all of that and then you just set the ball in somebody else's court. Come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come on. Like engage. So that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Like engage, yep. follow up. Yep. How do you spell success? F O L L O W U P. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what, that's what it's all about. And this person, uh, and he's just one among many is taking the, the, the time, which lets me know that, Hey, he's serious about this to engage, to follow up, to say, Hey, do you have time to chat? And all of this is done via LinkedIn, but you can always also reach me at my email address, right? And that's Kimberly.Dinkins at sk.com. Boom, drop the bomb there. Yep. That's it. So have you reached out to organizations like 50 Strong and Vets to Industry to try to be a part of their networking events as well? Because 50 Strong does a, a whole thing with uh, hiring managers and things like that. 50 strong, I have not, but you see, I'm jotting that down right now, right? Because no, I will yeah. do that. Um, I have, um, I did last year reach out with to Brian, uh, Brian Arrington at uh, Vets to Industry, and he and I actually had a nice phone chat. I I did not um, get on his show, and I know he has the monthly, I believe he has the monthly, yeah. but I will definitely re-engage with him because I know he has uh, so many followers and he can really, ha he really has that reach into the military community. So that so is excellent. I will do that. Candy Tillman, I think it's Candy with a K, um, is, is the one who runs the 50 Strong. Uh, you can find both 50 Strong and her on LinkedIn. Um, but yeah, they they, they have a, a event every month, typically usually are uh, usually have one every month. Some are hiring, some are networking. You just got to see what their schedule is. And the other thing, you might want to re-engage with Brian because they do, I think it's quarterly, an international one where they change the time to target overseas. Awesome. Uh, so that may help you out there as well. Awesome. We, as, I will take any opportunity to uh, engage with, collaborate with, so that I can reach uh, deeper into my military community. So absolutely. Thank you so much for that. So I know I have my opinions and just whatever we, we've had come on here has their opinion about why you should hire a veteran. Why mm -hmm. does SK target veterans? Why, why do you, you know, aside from you being a veteran, you know, mm -hmm. why, why, did, why does SK target uh, veterans to, to bring them into the organization? That is an excellent question. So um, veterans bring a special something to the workplace. Number one, the ability to lead, the ability to follow, the ability to take initiative, the ability to follow through, the ability to be on time, to be in the right place, the right time, in the right uniform. Those are the basics, yeah. right? Yep. And so, you know, training can be, you can teach people the job. You can teach them what they need to do. But if but these are the things, the very basic things that the military population brings to the table. And unfortunately, many times, and I hate to say it, but people in the civilian sector don't have that. Uh, so we, we have that training. We've been trained over the course of years. And so that is why they're seeking that because of those very things. The ability to be right place, right time, right uniform, take initiative, follow through, lead. Yeah. Here's, here's one thing, and, and, and I love that you're saying that because um, our society in the civilian sector, right? Mm -hmm. and, and this is, of course, a generalization. Right. I don't take this personally, anyone. But our society is flaky. <laughs> We as Americans are flakes, right? We are. We are. We just, we just, you know, we'll say we'll be there and maybe we will, maybe we won't, right? Exactly. Right. Right. But, and that's one thing that I think is right a spot on with veterans and military members, active duty or veterans, is, you know, that integrity mm -hmm. that is instilled in you. And, you know, in most cases, again, this is a generalization, but if, if you served in the military, mm -hmm. And you say you're going to be somewhere, you, you, you'll be there, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You say you're going to do something, you'll do you're it. You're going to do it, 
follow through. That's it. Follow through initiative, ability to lead, ability to follow, right place, right time, right, right uniform. Absolutely. I love it. it and it, those it are just really, It really is sad that like that's so important. Like <laughs> you know they're gonna show up. Yeah. Right? The, ha, have we gotten to that point? It's like yes, that's just Sean. ridiculous. Yes. You know, especially in the high, it's happening right now with recruiters and HR professionals where they're getting ghosted, right? And, and maybe that's a product of the job market right now, right? Yeah. But yeah, it could be a couple, a couple, a number of things, right? But at the same time, you know, it's it's the case. Yep. Yep. So um, that is why it is so important that we hire our military personnel. Amen. That's just uh, amazing. Amazing has come down <laughs> to that. Something as simple as being on time. Yep. <laughs> you yeah. are management material. Well, exactly right. I mean, it, but it, that unfortunately that that is that is the case. But you know what? It works because um, that it sets us apart. You were talking about Mark, how to differentiate yourself from your peers. That is how we, as military personnel, are differentiating differ, differentiating ourselves from our peers by being able to do those very basic things, along with all the other wonderful things that we bring to the table, of course. Love it. Yeah, that's. Uh, we need to drop bombs, mics, everything else around here. After that, that's just <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah. So we're coming down to the end, uh, Kim. Um, We'll definitely want to give you the last word here. You know, what What do you want to leave the audience with as it pertains to SK Battery America and what you guys got going on? I'd just like to leave you with the fact that uh, SK is a great place to work. Uh, cultural, the, the culture is very important. You know, um, money is important. A culture is equally important. Uh, because you can make great money, but be miserable all day. It is such a wonderful, wonderful place to work. I enjoy going to work. I enjoy being at work. Um, and so at the, at the end of the day, that's what's important. Um, that is a great place to work. It is a great place to learn. Uh, you all, you'll have a voice. Um, you'll be able to, you feel like you're heard. Um, and uh, for me, that's important. And for my veterans, that's important. If something doesn't feel right, if they have a question, they know that they can reach out to me by email or whatever. Give me a call and we'll talk. We'll chat. I think that that is key. Um, everybody wants to have a voice and everyone wants to be heard. SK Battery America is a great place to work. It is a great place to grow and it is a great place to learn. No place is perfect but it is a great place to be. And so if you want to learn, be cutting edge technology, start with SK Battery America. I don't know about you, Mark, but I'm ready to quit my job. And you know, if you guys would just come to Florida, I'm not going to Commerce, Georgia, but. Um... <laughs> yeah, you're moving from Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I love it, I love it. And you know, all extremely valid points and you know, I love your mission. Uh, thank you for coming on and sharing with us. Thank you for having me this morning. I appreciate both of you, both Mark and Sean. I appreciate you both this morning for having me on your show. And uh, thank you. And thank you so much. It's just a great organization. And, and, you know, like Mark mentioned earlier, you guys are doing stuff for veterans that very few companies do. We, we've heard a couple of people come on and talk about companies like this. And it's the places you want to go. And honestly, you hit on my number one criteria. When I left the military, my criteria was I wanted a job I enjoyed going to, mm -hmm. you know, not that I hated the military, but, you know, that's what I wanted in my next job was something where I enjoyed the people. I enjoyed the mission. I just wanted to go to work and and not, you know, be miserable or anything like that. I, I wanted to be relaxed and, and have fun. Yeah. Um, so great mission. Great job. And uh, definitely wish you all the best. I want to thank you for coming on. We want to thank everybody for tuning in today and continue to support us. Remember to check out the YouTube and subscribe. We're also on most of the podcast platforms these days. Uh, so follow us on there, subscribe, help us get the mission out and share this information with our service members transitioning out of the military, our spouses and our veterans. You never know, you know, like yeah. I said, 
the way she's talking about SK, if they ever come to Florida, I might have to check them out. It sounds like an amazing organization. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you all for tuning in today. And remember, don't try to see a transition. Grab the Vet SOS Lifeline. 